Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to readjust MIDI item looping in Reaper. I have a project set up here with some drums, a plucked synth, and a regular synth. And each one of them has a VST instrument on them. So I'm going to record some MIDI data. And I'm using my USB MIDI keyboard down here, so you can watch what keys I'm hitting. We'll start with the drums, put in record, and let's record a part. Now, if you notice, we didn't set up any looping, but I still want to loop this part. And by default, if we right click this MIDI item, go to item properties, we can see that by default, Reaper is going to loop any new items we record. So if I trim the right side of this item, we can see that it loops based on the loop point right here. From the beginning where I punched in to where I punched out is going to loop. But as you can also see, it doesn't really line up with any bars or measures. It's just based on where we punched in and punched out. So it's not very useful to loop at this point. Instead, I want to loop from bar three to bar seven. So we could readjust a MIDI loop points like this. We'll go back to the item properties and turn off looping. We have to do this for this trick to work. Then close it. Then we need to split these items based on the section we want to loop. Now we should note, we can't just trim like this. That's not going to work. Instead, we need to split the item. So put my cursor right here at bar three, type S, and then we can remove this separate MIDI item. And let's do the same thing on the endpoint. At bar seven, put our cursor here, type S, it splits the item, then we can delete this piece. And now we need to turn looping back on. Right click, item properties, loop source. Now this item is going to loop based on its new size. So if we trim it out now, it's going to loop based on the new size we created. From bar three to bar seven, loops again over here and as far as we drag it out. So let's hear it. Sounds good. But let's say we just wanted a loop from bar three to bar five. We didn't like the double kick at bar five. We can readjust it again. Just right click, item properties, turn off the looping, split right here, and delete this piece. Right click again. Turn looping back on, and now it's just going to loop the first two bars we play. Removing that double kick, we didn't want to use anymore. So now to record the pluck synth. Put into record. And again, we didn't set up a loop to begin with, 
So if we try to loop this item, it's going to loop based on what we punched in over here, and we punched out over here. So it's not going to be very useful or in time with our song. But also notice, I played the wrong note right here. So we could just use the second half of the performance. So right click, item properties, turn off the loop, and redefine the loop by splitting the item right here and right here. And delete this piece and this one. And then right click, turn the loop back on. Now we could loop it going forward or even going backwards like this. So now let's hear it. So not only did we redefine the loop, we fixed the bad note that I played. Let's record one more part for the second synth. As you can tell this time, we only played the first section, so we want to loop that through the song. But we're going to do it a bit differently this time. Once again, we'll turn looping off, but instead of splitting our items, let's create a time selection based on the section we want to loop. From bar 3 to bar 7, make sure we select this item and right click and choose. Trim items to selected area. And that cuts the left side and the right side down to the size of the time selection. This method will also work. Let's clear the time selection and we can just right click the item and turn looping on again. And now we can drag out this item and it's going to loop exactly the section we defined. Let's hear this back. Perfect. So that's how to readjust our MIDI items for looping or redefined the loop barriers in our items. So that's pretty much it. That's readjusting MIDI item looping in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.